Understanding Instagram is crucial for photographers, as it serves as a valuable tool in achieving well-exposed and balanced photos. Delving into the complexity of this graphical representation allows you to gain a deeper insight into the distribution of tones within your image. By breaking down the histogram, you can discern the shadows on the left side, midtones in the middle, and the highlights on the right side. In practical terms, the left side of the histogram corresponds with the shadows in your image, capturing the darker areas that bring depth and dimension. On the opposite end, the right side represents highlights, capturing the brighter elements that bring attention and detail into specific areas. The middle of the histogram is dedicated to the midtones, embodying the balanced tones that contribute to the overall visual harmony of a photograph. But what exactly now is its purpose? The histogram essentially acts as a visual roadmap for exposure, enabling you to identify potential issues such as underexposure or overexposure. Peaks and valleys in the histogram provide insights into the distribution of tones, allowing you to make informed decisions during your editing process. For instance, if you notice a spike on the left side, it may indicate underexposure, prompting adjustments to ensure a proper balance of shadows and highlights. Reading the histogram is pretty easy with the information you just learned. Remember that it breaks down into shadows on the left side, midtones in the middle, and highlights on the right side. It can basically tell you three things. Clipping, exposure, and contrast. Clipping in photography refers to the loss of detail due to overexposure or underexposure. Overexposure leads to the loss of details in the brightest part, like the sky, while underexposure may result in clipping the darkest areas, such as heavy shadows. Well-exposed images generally look best when details are present in every tonal area. To identify clipping, use the histogram panel. Peaks against the leftmost edge indicate shadow clipping. And peaks against the rightmost edge indicate highlight clipping. Confirmation can be obtained through the show shadow clipping and show highlight clipping icons. Lightroom histogram also assists in assessing the overall exposure of an image. A balanced histogram suggests a well-exposed image, while a skewed histogram indicates potential underexposure or overexposure. The histogram is also useful for addressing contrast issues in your photo. A low contrast image characterized by compact histogram may benefit from adjusting the contrast sliders. These adjustments enhance the tonal range, ensuring a visual appealing result. Now it's time to implement this knowledge into your workflow. Begin by opening your image in the develop module of Lightroom. Utilize the show highlight clipping and show shadow clipping icons to detect any issues. Address highlight clipping by fine-tuning the highlight sliders and remedy shadow clipping by adjusting the shadow sliders for precise control over tonal details. Once clipping concerns are addressed, delve into evaluation the overall exposure through the histogram. Ensure a balanced distribution by observing the histogram's shape. If the exposure appears good, employ the exposure slider for nuanced adjustments. Also monitor the histogram to prevent any inadvertent clipping, keeping the indicators activated for real-time feedback. Now shift your attention to the image and its corresponding histogram to identify indicators of low contrast. Enhance the visual impact by increasing increasing contrast sliders for a vibrant and punchy aesthetic. Alternatively, for a subdued and nuanced look, reset the contrast slider. For more control, finesse the image further by adjusting the blacks and white sliders. And there we have it. A comprehensive guide in mastering the histogram panel in Adobe Lightroom. Understanding and utilizing the histogram is a crucial step towards achieving professional looking photos. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more content and let me know in the comments what topics you want me to cover next. And I will see you in the next video.